Imagine not drinking for four years, and in that period of time, you were able to save $75,000, publish a best-selling book, and reverse a medical condition, all within that period of time. So I'm gonna share with you my story of why I stopped drinking completely for four years, the biggest impacts it had on my life, and then three mistakes I see with people who wanna stop drinking or just breaking a bad habit in general. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, I'm not an anti-drinker per se. I'll still now occasionally have a drink or two, but really seldomly I've reduced my alcohol consumption. And again, I'm just gonna share the story and the benefits I saw from this, and hopefully you can learn something and potentially implement it in your life if you see it fitting. So essentially, alcohol was hindering a lot of things in my life. I was partying three to four nights a week, spending $500 a weekend on bottle service, partying, clubs, food, Ubers, all these other things that add up very quickly. And most importantly, I felt like I was just wasting so much time going out partying, being hungover, sleeping in late, and really wasn't optimizing my life. When my weekends were over, I felt like I accomplished nothing. At the end of the weekend, my health wasn't improved, my bank account wasn't growing, and my time was spent doing stuff I really didn't love anymore. So in the rest of this video, I'm gonna share the three biggest mistakes I see people who try to break a habit, and then I'm also gonna talk about the most impactful benefits that you probably haven't realized or maybe you haven't thought about about when I gave up alcohol and sort of the net benefits those things brought into my life. Hey, so before we get into the benefits, let me go over the three biggest mistakes I saw myself personally and a few mishaps I had and then a lot of other mistakes I see other people when they're trying to give up a bad habit. The first thing I see is giving up too early. A lot of people do a sober November or a month off and they really don't see the benefits that come with stopping drinking. For me, I saw the most tangible benefits around month three and after. So if you're giving up on month one, you're probably just not going to get those full benefits if you don't do it for a longer enough period of time. Number two is one size approach doesn't fit all. Your lifestyle, your choices are going to be different than mine. You might be trying to optimize for something else, but the key is to recognize what's not working and give it time, adjust, and adapt. And last but not least is the mindset shift. This isn't a punishment. Think of it as a health revolution, a decision that can literally add years to your life. It might be hard in the beginning, but once you take a step back from something you've been doing your whole life or your whole adult life, you'll kind of realize and wonder why you did this for so long and why you weren't able to try this out sooner. So starting off at number one was money, money, money. I was spending $500 a week on alcohol, clubbing, junk food, Ubers, hotels, and all the other things that kind of come out with the party scene. Again, this was going to add up to over a four year period, more than $75,000 that I saved. And I was able to reinvest this money into businesses, into travel, into doing other things that were going to bring me a more positive ROI instead of a net negative, which I associate a lot of this stuff with. But again, your interpretation is going to probably be a little bit different than mine. What I challenge you to do is look at your past three months, see how much money you spent on alcohol. You can use a really cool app for free. It's called mint.com. This will essentially link up to your credit cards, your bank accounts, and it'll be able to show you all the money that you spent on this category of purchases. Go ahead, audit the last three to six months, see how much you're spending, and then take that amount and put it towards something else. Maybe it's going to uh, learn about a new skill or starting your own business. You probably have that money, but it's just being utilized somewhere else. And then when you factor in the amount of time that associates for how much you're spending, you're going to really need to justify continuing drinking. And this was something that helped me lead to that big mindset shift. Starting off at number two was wasting time. Did you know that 28% of our time is on the weekends? So if you're not using that 28% of your time to benefit, to grow your health, to grow your wealth, or to do something you're very passionate about, you're wasting your time. And this is exactly the moment that really clicked for me was, hey, I'm throwing away 28% of my life and I'm starting each Monday on a worse foot than when Friday came along. This was the real big thing that helped me realize that, again, I wasn't utilizing things 
things. I wasn't doing things that I wanted to do. And I was able to allocate this 28% of time to making more money, writing and publishing my best-selling book, and doing a variety of other things, like traveling, spending more time with friends, and just finding non-alcohol related activities, organizing events, and doing a lot of other stuff. And I actually kept a very high social life despite not going out to clubs and partying. Last but not least is health. Again, this all started for me. The reason I stopped drinking was I was having stomach issues. Every Monday, I would start feeling a little bit sick. By Friday, I started feeling better, and I was just felt like I was in this vicious cycle of not feeling optimal. So once I stopped drinking, my health drastically improved. I had medical blood tests that within six months of stopping, my liver function improved, my stomach issues stopped, and a lot of other issues just completely disappeared. And this was something that really revolutionized why I kept with it. After six months of stopping, I kind of analyzed, did all these tests, did a audit of what the previous six months looked like, and I didn't want to go back into that same sort of routine. So what I did is I just kept drinking and I completely stopped stopped drinking for four years and now I occasionally have a drink for special occasions but it really isn't that net of a benefit one really good example that I have is when you're going out drinking if you're having five or six drinks each drink is around 150 calories maybe 200 calories so that's an extra thousand calories that you're having if you're trying to lose weight stay in shape optimize your sleep alcohol is going to be something that is detrimental to your success of optimizing those departments again the health aspect of drinking, they really haven't shown any studies or any health benefits to even having one or two drinks a week. So you really need to consider, is it bringing value into your life? I'd much rather have like a healthy protein shake or smoothie than a few glasses of wine. But again, everyone's different. You'll have to decide if the health aspect is something that's important to you. So in conclusion, if you think one of these things would benefit your life, I urge you to do this one easy step. Take out a piece of paper, make a pro and cons list for alcohol. And again, see what it's bringing to your life. Look at the pros, look at the cons and see if that's actually worthwhile to you. Calculate how much money and time you're spending on drinking and partying and see if you could put that same amount of time into something else if you would have better results. Again, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. So if you want something to change, you have to make drastic changes in your life and it could start off with doing this. This will bring more time, more money, and a better, healthier lifestyle to you if you're able to stick with it and do it in a healthy way. So hey, if you found one single thing in this video that helped you, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm putting out new videos every single day, so hit the notification icon to get alerted about the new videos when they become published.